then we'll have a short break after this, um, and then afterwards we will have uh, a session on the, the IT solution which you all use in order to submit the information um, to UEFA. So this will be more uh, a technical session on, on how this works. So in terms of club licensing, as you, as you all know, it's been in place since 2003. Cyprus has been involved since the very beginning. Um, and we work closely with Nikos since uh, for more than 10 years now. Nikos helps us a lot even in, uh, in proposals to change to the regulation. <coughs> We've been heavily involved. We have a, a good collaboration with the, with the CFA. So it's a Europe-wide uh, system that um, it applies uh, you know, the principle of equal treatment. Um, the dynamic systems so always look to improve and increase the standards. And this is a philosophy which we feel has been adopted in, in Cyprus as well, with the changes that have been since 2009 by introducing additional checks. I think it's very important that you know we don't just stand still and, and where there's maybe been some issues, we need to address these, and this uh, this has been done. The objectives, as we know, is just to improve the overall standards um, of club football, so not just financial, but you know uh, across the across the whole spectrum of a, of a football club. Um, obviously.